Hello, gore horrors and fellow deadites, and welcome to Our Life in Horror. We are a horror movie podcast with a gore-filled side of news, physical media, and everything spooky. My name is Brendan, a horror addict since birth, and with me always is my horror queen, Sam, who is taking it out this week. Uh, she has an injured neck, so she will not be joining us. Um, I guess where you guys can find us is on Instagram, TikTok, and X. We also have a Patreon where we do Patreon parties. We do um, bonus episodes, after-hour pods. Uh, we have a Discord um yeah we also have youtube now um where we're uploading our videos and we're doing some media stuff as well that we're covering uh shout out to our patreon members sean miki bo rob kayla and aj i think i got you guys all right and i am joined here with kayla bo and rob for our patreon party this week hey hi <laughs> Hello. Hello. How is everybody doing? Good. Nervous. Uh, <laughs> uh, good. Yeah. Feeling feeling good. It's uh you know ready to get into uh to this discussion. I think it'll be fun. Um, Different. And hopefully we'll argue a lot. That'll be a good time. Oh yay! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> definitely. I definitely feel that. I'm very curious to see what's everyone everybody's list. Yeah. I, I wish Sam was here though. I can't believe she she broke her own neck just to keep from having to do another show with me. But <laughs> yeah, she dedicated picked, to the bit. She <laughs> picked some good ones. I do have her list. So oh, you, yes, you'll absolutely be able to message her on the Discord after and be like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I, maybe this list won't be that bad. If it was like a list of movies that are good, I would imagine it would be a nightmare. But. <laughs> 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 i can't wait for her to listen to this already um so <laughs> she just popped her head around the corner and gave me a death stare um <laughs> so we'll start out with uh uh bo kayla where can we guys find you on your socials uh it's critic after dark on pretty much everything but I don't, the only thing I'm actually like Active. actively <laughs> doing at the moment is Instagram, but I'd like to start a YouTube channel eventually and get everything going there. But yeah, just Instagram, Critic After Dark. And Kayla's Mrs. Critic After Dark. Yep. She just copied me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's it. <laughs> and uh, Rob, where can we find you guys? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Radio Rob one two three. That's where I mostly uh, can be found, and you can listen to uh, my horror movie podcast Slasher Radio wherever you're listening to Our Life in Horror. Um, I also have a Nicholas Cage podcast called the Nick F and Woo Cage Cast, which you can find there as well. Nice. Which uh, era Nick Cage are you on now? Uh, we just wrapped up the, the nice long block of action movies. Um, we just finished up Gone in 60 Seconds. The next episode is going to be on The Family Man, which I am kind of dreading. Okay, I've never seen that one. For some <laughs> I reason, haven't seen it either, and there's a reason for that. It looks is terrible. That, <laughs> is that the one with Tay Leone, too? I believe so, yes. I don't like her very much, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah she's like um, the greatest actress in the world so i actually recently watched that movie and i don't know i actually thought it was pretty good no right, well, we'll see <laughs> we'll see i haven't yeah. watched it yet but uh the yeah. episode should be out soon nice. it's been years for me so. when you said nicholas gage in action movies for some reason gone in 60 seconds was the first movie that popped in my head yeah he had a nice long run of those um and some were more fun than others but uh yeah gone in 60 seconds was the last one we did it was okay you know not yeah. quite it doesn't quite hold up to like the rock or face off or on air you know those are great but yeah yeah i agree with that those are his all-time best but gone in 60 seconds still pretty fun it's a fun it's a fun movie um do we want to get into what you guys have been watching this week sure sure who's going first <laughs> oh well, what, what have we been watching um I have, oh, I've watched so much in the last couple of weeks. Well, what's new? <laughs> I, I'll start by saying we watched Red Dragon. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, and then we decided to lead that into Hannibal. Yeah, we're watching the <laughs> series now. The TV wow. show. Oh yeah. Oh, the TV show. I thought you meant the movie Hannibal, which is yeah, terrible. I, yeah. I had to correct that. that <laughs> yeah, after Red Dragon, we were like kind of sucked in so 
Kayla mentioned we should watch Hannibal, so I was like, yeah, let's try that. And it's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah Hannibal is a, is a really good show. Yeah, Mads Mikkelsen, he, he's he's killing it as a uh, lector. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. only like two episodes into the second season, but yeah, I feel like it's going to get really good soon. <laughs> and there's only three seasons, so it's not like a daunting task like some of the TV shows have attempted to do. Yeah. Uh, what else did we watch? We watched Memento. Which I saw, I, I saw yeah. your rating. I didn't like it that much. I thought it was overrated as shit. Like, yeah. It, yeah. It, oh, it's weird. Like I, I wanted it, to love it, but yeah, like when I was watching it, I I liked it, but yet it just oh, I went into it with too much hype. I think because I just I thought that it was going to be a masterpiece, and I just I don't know. I didn't find it that great, to be honest. It's kind of it was cool because it felt like Christopher Nolan film the movie and then like cut the film reel into a thousand pieces threw it in a basket and just <laughs> glued it back together <laughs> which that's pretty cool yeah i gotta give him, applaud him for that because that was neat it's his first like mainstream movie isn't it i think it might be his first mainstream movie yeah i think yeah. so yeah i think yeah. It, i think it is too i i was i've never been a fan of that movie either it gets a lot of praise and i, I don't <laughs> quite understand why i wanted to love it yeah but... it was weird Weird. What else do you have? Do you have anything written down? That we want? Yeah, we watched The Prestige. The Prestige, another Nolan. Love that one. That was good. Um, Autopsy of Jane Doe. We rewatched. Yeah, I've seen Autopsy of Jane Doe like, well, oh, thirty times at this point. But Kayla hadn't watched it in a couple of years, so yeah, I did that one again. It it, it still holds up. It's excellent. Uh, District Nine. That was still pretty good. District Nine. Yep. Yeah. That was good. And then I had to put this on here for you, Rob. Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. <laughs> oh, wow, what an awful it, movie that is. It's oh. garbage. <laughs> okay, in my defense, it's a rewatch. I haven't seen it since I was a teenager, uh-huh. which has been a while. And yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> really bad. I I, yeah. I haven't seen it since it was new. And I oh, ugh, I don't like it. Then. Yeah, There's it was no way bad. I'm going to like it now. The acting is so cringy. And it it's weird because you got a lot of like big name actresses from that era. Yeah. So I was uh, like, I hadn't watched it either since it came out. So I remembered it being just like, like a crappy version of like Mean Girls or something. But then when we watched it, it's It's way more worse than that. It it was just brutal. The acting so bad. It was, I couldn't even hurt. I couldn't believe it. We made our daughters watch it too. And they were like, what the hell? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I know. Uh, I'll name a couple I watched today. I watched Dino Shark. <laughs> Just a oh, random. Nice. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, what else? The Ward. I watched oh, last yeah. night. Yeah, that's one of the few Carpenter movies I haven't seen. Oh, you can keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's brutal. That was, that was his last movie, right? Uh, I, think. I, think. I think so, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he didn't end uh, on a high note. No, it's it's awful. It like the storyline is okay, but <clears throat> it's just uh the uh, Amber Heard's acting in it is I don't I don't know how to describe it. abysmal. Is just, that <laughs> is a good word? Is that shocking? It, it's brutal. She's it brutal. <laughs> Do you think her acting's worse now that you've seen the whole Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial go through? Maybe. Maybe that I just don't hilarious. like her a little more. Yeah, but yeah, holy shit, that was funny. It, it's she tries to hold the whole movie herself because everybody else is like, you've never seen them before, actors. So she's in like every scene pretty much up until the the end, and it's just uh, she just doesn't. She's not a lead actress. She's a third or fourth star in a movie, in my opinion, not the lead, <laughs> but. Uh, and then I'll do one more that was really bad as well. Vanishing on Seventh Street. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that one. It's yeah, uh, I haven't, I haven't seen that. It's an animated yeah. one, isn't it? What's that? Is that an animated one? No, no. It's with uh, the actor that plays Anakin Skywalker. What's his name? Uh, Hay- Hayden Christensen. Hayden Christensen. Yeah. He's the lead. It's got John Leguizamo in it. Uh, a whole bunch of people you've seen before, but everybody just disappears and all their clothing is like left laying all over the streets and everything. But there's a handful of these survivors that didn't disappear and they are trying to figure out why. 
and I won't ruin or spoil it. I have a guess, but <laughs> but it it's like a one and a half, maybe if you're out of five, if you were rating it, it's not. I don't know. It, it's had so much potential, and they just kind of shit the bed. Just like Amber Heard. <laughs> nice. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it for us, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean it's not, but we'll stop there. Yeah, we'll stop there. <laughs> all right, all right. Rob, what are you watching? Um I feel like I've been watching a lot. So excuse me. Jeez. Every year I do a, a thing where I try to watch all the movies that are nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. So I've been running through those. Um a lot of that so a lot of non-horror stuff um but i did watch anatomy of a fall which was one of the oscar nominees and it quickly became the best movie of 2023 in my opinion i loved it wow. um, nice. there's a uh, netflix documentary that i watched called lover stalker killer it's one of their true crime you know they do a true crime documentary about every two weeks on netflix <laughs> yeah. yeah um so i watched that it's fine i mean it's just like any of the other true crime documentaries it's about the easiest mystery to solve ever. Like <laughs> watching it, you know, just like 10 minutes in, I'm like, oh, she, she's doing all this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I watched uh, Eden Lake from 2008. Have you guys seen this? Oh yeah. <clears throat> I have. Yeah. I have not yet. I thought this was really good and I'd never even heard of it. It's very it's, underestimated. Yeah. It's yeah, like it's, emotionally damaging. <laughs> it's a very brutal movie, but it, it's really good. Um, so yeah, I was, I was pretty pleased with that one. Um, I watched Lisa Frankenstein. Finally. Uh, I wish <laughs> I hadn't. Uh, <laughs> I, so I've seen your review. <laughs> yeah. That movie is just so dumb. Um, another Oscar contender maestro I watched, uh, it was much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it sounded super boring and I kept putting it off and putting it off. Finally, I sat down and watched it. I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, last night I watched Jason and the Argonauts with my kid for the first time. He, he's right. really into stop motion stuff. So we watched that so he could see like the Harry Housen, you know, the skulls with the sword fights and stuff. And yeah, it's um, awesome. yeah, it was fun. It, it's a fun movie. I, I don't know that I'd ever seen it before. Um, I've never watched it, but I've always wanted to. Yeah, I mean, neither have yeah. seen clips. Yeah, it's. A, I think so. I think for me too. I think I just seen like a lot of the clips from it or something. But uh, watching it, like it's, it's not the greatest movie I've ever seen, but it's fun. Um, and you know, the story wise, it holds up fine, I guess. Uh, so I enjoyed that. And then just before we hopped on here, I finished up Past Lives, which is another one of those Oscar nominees. And you talk about a boring movie. Good lord. Oh, is that one brutal? Oh, it was that painful. Was not money. It was an hour forty-five, and it felt like four. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Uh, I think yeah. I might skip that one then. That yeah, was on the watch list. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. So, uh, anyway, that's what I've been watching uh, over the last week or so. Nice. I've never actually done like a full, full on like try to rip through the whole Oscars that have been going on. Well, <laughs> I've been doing it for years, and it was. I'll tell you what, it was a hell of a lot easier when they only nominated five movies for Best Picture. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Now they can go up to ten, and it's just it gets to be a pain. Yeah, I used I I think I spent a few years where I was doing like the best motion picture of each year, mm -hmm. and then I quickly fell out. Through, I fell out of that very fast. Well, and that's the other thing. Sometimes they the movies that win Best Picture at the Academy Awards are the ones that are the easiestly forgotten. You know, like you just don't mm -hmm. remember it when you look at a certain year. You're like, how the hell did that win? You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but uh, I, I still enjoy doing it. And I do catch like Anatomy of a Fall. Like I said, I absolutely loved it. I never would have watched that movie if it wasn't on that list when it came out. I just, it yeah. didn't seem like it would interest me at all. Yeah. Um, or Maestro, for that matter. I put that one off forever because it looked boring as hell, but it was actually really good. That's exciting too. Bradley Cooper, I think he does a lot. What is he? He's not the director, I don't think. Uh, I think he did. Yeah. He did direct it. Is he the director? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I've been wanting to watch that too. I haven't got around to it, but definitely well now that you said it's worthy. Yeah, I mean, I, I found it really good. It's um, there are some issues with it. It's not perfect, but I, I really did like it. I think it was really good. Nice. Sorry, right on I, just, your list. I just dropped my mic. Yeah, as we're here <laughs> on your horror podcast talking about Bradley Cooper's Leonard Bernstein movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, he asked. <laughs> I tried to stay away from. <laughs> 
I'll, kick her, stuff, I'll but... kick her back into some more here. I watched uh, Ty West's The Innkeepers this week for the first time. That's a good one. It was funny. Yeah, it's really funny. Um, it's slow. It is the slowest yes. of slow burns. But, it's... <laughs> but I find it's worth it because you care so much about this weird, quirky, awkward girl by the end of the movie. She She's fun. Um. Yeah, yeah, and the jump scares, like the jump scares, were well done too. And by the time like they actually start like coming, you're you're hit by them because you're not really expecting them. Yeah, 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 so long in between them that you don't see them coming. Yeah, um, I watched that, and then I watched. I only got two movies in this week. I watched uh, Abandoned, starring Emma Roberts. Ooh, how was that? Um, <laughs> it wasn't great. I'd no, give it maybe a two star. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've seen that. I am an Emma Roberts fan, though. I'm not saying she was bad in it, but it's just I don't know. It, it just wasn't for me. I don't no. think she she's got them crazy eyes. I love a woman with crazy eyes. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely does. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was okay. It was it was fine. I wasn't too impressed afterwards. I I brought this whole list up to watch this week, and then I didn't get to like any of them. It sucks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we'll move on to some uh collecting of physical media. Has anybody <laughs> collected anything? This Not week? me. I have a couple that I just got today. I could show you. Sure. Oh. I uh, have. Oh, you're even, getting all professional. I haven't yet? even put them on the shelf yet, so I might <laughs> as well just show them to you. First one was House of the Devil. Speak of Ty West. Oh, yeah. That nice. one. I ordered them off uh Facebook's marketplace. Yep. Every single title here I found on there for reasonable well, prices, it. too. Uh, Blu-ray DVD site. Uh, I got the stuff from Arrow Video. Oh, you yeah. You guys have ever seen that? Yeah, I haven't seen it in a long time, but I, I, I remember liking it. I yeah, I've only it, ever so. seen it once, and it was like a few years ago. Yeah. But I, yeah. I don't remember whether it's good or not. I have it sitting downstairs, too, and I haven't cracked it open yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someone was selling it for twenty bucks, which is pretty good here in Canada. For like, arrows, uh, yeah. On for an arrow movie, because uh, on Amazon they're like forty something a piece. Yeah, like, I think I got mine on Marketplace, but it was thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we got lucky. Kayla found it for me actually. She does all the looking. <laughs> <laughs> so I showed her the sites about. I gotta tell this quick. I showed her the buy and sell groups about two weeks ago, and. I've bought more movies in the last two weeks than I bought in the last two years being on those <laughs> groups <laughs> because I showed them to her. I'm like, do you have this? Like, what about this? I found this. It was and all part like, of my master plan. No, it wasn't. <laughs> all right. It might have been. Brennan and Sam recommended this one to me, and I watched it. It's actually really good, and it's Bite. Yeah, really, yeah. really nasty gore fest, that one. Mm, I've that, never even heard of that. Is that the Scream Factory? Um, no, it does not. No, it's okay. uh, UFE. I've never actually heard of the company. Uh, sorry, yes, I have. It's Black Fawn, the company you guys support. Yeah, yeah. It's Black a, Fawn. A, it's a long out of print Blu ray you got in your hands there. Oh, really? Yep, yeah. I don't even think it. What was it like 12 bucks? 12 bucks, yeah. yeah. Not bad. I've got a couple more. I got Midnight Meat Train. Love I don't know if you movie. guys have seen that one. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good, a good movie. One. It's cool, yeah. I like, like that. Good twist at the end. I got the Hollow Man double pack. Hollow Man 1 and 2. You're getting so professional. You're like, look at my DVD. Well, I have them here. I'm also showing them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I got Audrey Rose from the, I believe, oh, I want to say like 77 or something. Do you know the year on that, Rob? I do. I do not. I don't think I've ever seen it. It's... uh. What's it say? It's got it stars Anthony Hopkins, so it's one of his early wow, roles. Awesome. Okay. But yeah, seven early seventies, seventy seven. I haven't seen it either. Looking forward to that. I got two left. I got the Wind from Arrow. I don't know what this one is either. Is that a, is that a recent movie? Um, it is. I heard no, a lot of. Not. 1986. Oh, okay. There was a movie, I think I think it was called The Wind, that came out like a year or two That's ago. Right. That That's right. That's right. a like, lot of really good stuff about it. Yeah, I, it, I don't know that, anything about that one, though. Is it this, The Wind? Possibly. Yeah. Demons in the Prairie, or Prairies of the... Uh, Demons of the Prairie. 
Yes, that's the one that Rob's talking yeah, about. That yeah, that just... sounds right. It's like some lady lives in a house out in the middle of nowhere or something. I, I think so. I, I brought it up for, to watch this week, and I didn't get around oh. to it. <laughs> wow, I've heard really good things about it. That's I haven't crazy. Seen it. Okay. <laughs> that's wild. And then my last one is Don't Torture a Duckling from uh, oh. Falky, which I've heard a lot of good things about. I've never actually seen it either. It's from 72, but I heard it's like really really brutal so i'm looking yeah. forward to that i'm gonna have an arrow week this week <laughs> watch all kinds of arrow movies you told me if any arrows come up for 20 dollars, then tell you well yeah okay. yeah when they pop up for 20 or less than that i'll take every single one of them because that's a good price yeah no definitely oh well that's a lot collected um i didn't collect anything this week what about you rob i did not either uh i don't have all that kind of money no, um, it's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> I don't have any left now either. I there's, there's, you know, there's a lot of things out there I want to get. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, you know. I know. I'm the same. There's just too much. They release yeah. too much on a weekly basis. I can't. I know. Can't I'm, keep up to it. I've been staying pretty clear of the marketplace for a while because I know it eats. It eats away and it eats fast because you find all <laughs> these deals and then it's like, damn, I can't. I can't get all the new stuff that's coming out. I know. Yeah, I have to quit. Yeah, I have to quit it. Calm you while. down for a couple <laughs> weeks. I'm saving up for those Scream Factory releases this March. So, what's uh, coming this March? Uh, the ring box set is finally going to be released because it was delayed from December. Yeah, I've had that pre ordered since like last September or something. Yeah, you guys have seen those movies, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a really nice box yeah. set. <laughs> it's only the first one that I like. You're but... saying the ring? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we've seen the ring. We named our daughter after you know. Samara. Samara. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. The first movie. Yeah. Uh, the second one's pretty bad. And then the yeah. third one basically unwatchable. But the only yeah. thing I remember about the second one is there is laughable CGI in that the movie. Deers. <laughs> yeah, the deer. <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's like bad like PlayStation 2 graphics. I yeah. didn't mind the storyline, but yeah, it was it's not brutal. it was yeah, not as good as the first, that's for sure. What else comes out this month from Scream Factory? Uh, they're doing the Child's Play remake and the Carrie remake. Are getting That's great. Releases. Mm. Yeah, mm, I oh, both okay. I want to grab them, but I already have them on Blu-ray, and it's like the price that they charge is. I don't know if it's worth the upgrade to 4K for me. Yeah, for those, but yeah, if I have something on Blu-ray, I usually won't upgrade it to 4K. My, I'm hard. Hard. my eyes can't tell the difference anymore <laughs> honestly the sound is where the upgrade really shows For 4k yeah yeah For, yeah we notice a big difference in the sound quality on our stair on our surround sound for 4k movies it it increased it quite a bit actually <laughs> like it it's so. just the voice well it's overall but the voices are louder i don't know if you realize with blu-rays like everything action is so fucking loud and yeah. then the voices are like you know you can't even hear them talk and so that's the biggest 4k upgrade, fix that for the most part for the yeah. ones i've seen the picture but, not really that much unless it's like a really old movie really old movies i find are where it's at 4k yeah and like because it, it like well usually you've seen them in like terrible quality but uh some of the ones i've watched like psycho in 4k was oh my god it's like the most beautiful 4k in my collection and but the the black and whites i don't it's weird you wouldn't think that it would matter that much but the black and whites on the psycho 4k it looks like they made it like yesterday basically yeah it's really cool i like it it's also a little bit of a stand on my part because i get irritated when they release new movies and they put it out on blu-ray and then three or four months later they release the 4k oh no, yeah, no, they, they, doubled, my money they twice. double dip on you yeah they, that's not happening yeah it's <laughs> awful i know yeah, and people fall for it too. I don't I know, know why do. they just don't release it at the same time. Like, get the combo packs going. Like, I don't know what studios are thinking, especially when <laughs> it's only like us collectors that are even buying movies anymore. It's because they probably know what so, they're doing. Like, I don't know anybody that isn't a collector that just goes out and buys movies now. You, it's only like specific. There's so little of us left, really. Mm. And yeah. so you think they would make stuff targeted for us, <laughs> considering we're the ones keeping them afloat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they, they do it's just after you've already purchased the stand <laughs> yeah no yeah. they're <laughs> capitalizing on our freaking ocd problem yeah <laughs> exactly sure. um well i guess with 
that out of the way, do we want to get into our our lists here? Our sure, topic, let's do it. Our topic for this yeah. week is, is it horror or isn't it horror? I'm trying to think of the best way to come up that's, with the title. For that's this. a good one. Yeah, sounds all right. Yep. I figured we'll just kind of go in a circle and we will um, give uh, just one list and we'll have a quick discussion about it and we'll see if we go. Let's sure, go yeah. With, I'd like to go with Rob first. I want to know what's yeah. going <laughs> yeah. That's what I was going to oh, oh, you want me to go first? All right, hold on. We've talked a lot. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, let me get this pulled up here. Well, the first one I don't think is any surprise uh, to, to anyone because I ask everybody this all the time. Um, and it is uh, my favorite movie of all time, and that is The Shape of Water. <laughs> nice. He wrote that um, down as a backup. I actually had that on the <laughs> list. I haven't seen it to judge it. That's... I. So is this movie usually classified as horror, or isn't it, by the majority of the community? So I I never doubted that it was a horror movie until I started talking about it uh, on my podcast and everyone in the world told me it was not a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> I I would argue that it isn't, but it's hard because it's a creature feature. It is a creature movie. Like and that's, 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 not, what I always, that's what I always tell people. I'm like everybody we all agreed that the universal monster movies from the 30s and 40s, those are those are horror films. When yes. you watch them, they're not scary now or anything. No. And You're there's right. usually a love story component to those movies. All the Shape of Water is is an updated version of Creature from the Black Lagoon, where the creature actually gets the girl. That's true. Yeah. That's that is true. So uh, yeah, and I love the classic uh, Universal monster movies. They're at the top of all my lists. So I would, I would argue that it would fall in the exact same category as as those. I wish he, the fish man ripped some people up though. <laughs> to, to yeah. Really. I would have loved that. <laughs> it's yeah, no. it's not the story though. I know. It's trying to highlight it been fun, though. how we're evil and it's good basically, but I would argue that it's it should be. It's considered. not. It toes the line. It's the line it, for yeah. sure. I would say just because of the monster in it, I would I would classify it as a horror. Right. As well. well, then you should also go watch it because it's an amazing movie. <laughs> you need to watch I've it. I've seen right? it once. I'm good. So you know, I, I, I love the I love the Gill Man. I just haven't I just haven't gone around to it. I don't. If you I've ever want to see the Gill Man, like fuck the shit out of a chick. Yeah. Oh, ball. <laughs> yeah, I've never really been too interested in that kind of fan fiction. But... <laughs> yeah, no, what Del Toro working. was apparently. <laughs> yeah, Del Toro. You can tell he has a creature, a love for the creatures. Yeah, I'll say. Because he shows it in a lot of most of his movies, like even Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. yeah. He's What's really... the fishman called? Does he does he have a name? I think it's just Gilman. Gilman? Yeah. He looks great in the movie, honestly. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Doug Jones plays him. He's fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah. The same one I... that's in like Hellboy and stuff, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Same guy, yeah. yeah. Like he looks great, but it, the movie looks beautiful. I I when I argue yeah off of podcast <laughs> about shape of water it's usually just pestery yeah but i i could turn it on right now and watch it again for like the fifth time probably and still find some enjoyment out of it so mm -hmm. i can't say it's a terrible movie i just like to make fun of it because it's very pervy it won that year right it yes, won it that award, yeah. Yeah. but it what movie did it lose to that we were pissed about is it the did it beat me? yeah um the, uh, the, I think that's why we had a bit of a hatred for it because yeah. we had a movie that was that oh, year as well. It, it was called. And um, we were like rooting for it to win. What's the yeah. It's the billboard one. Oh, oh three, the three billboards. Yeah. yeah. That yes. movie was amazing. So yeah, I like we were, three billboards. What the hell? No, I, I did like three billboards, but I was happy as hell in the Shape of Water one. Like I said, <laughs> yeah, I bet. easily my favorite movie ever. Um, I, I think it's terrific. And but but I get it too. Like people make fun. I've got friends who call it Grindy Nemo. <laughs> grinding that's Nemo. fucking amazing yeah. <laughs> i'm never calling it shape of water again that's oh that's great i've never heard that before <laughs> grinding Nemo. that is so funny Jeez, <laughs> that's amazing did we lose them where'd he go <laughs> yeah <laughs> no um, that's I'm, I'm definitely gonna put it on the watch list i will watch it next week and i'll message you when i when i do actually watch it yeah all right no, that's a good movie. it deserves a watch for sure 
Uh, Bo Kayla, which one do you guys want to go first? You go first. Me? Yeah. All right. I didn't write any specific order, obviously, because it's hard to be like the top three or something, right? Yeah, and mm-hmm. we, we made sure we had backups just in case anybody brought up another person. Yeah, backup. same yeah, here. Yeah, I came up with a much longer list than I probably needed to. I was just thinking, I just, off the top of my head, they would just started flying out of me. I was like, all yeah. right, I'll put that here, I'll put that here. Yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I just have a long list here. But the first one I'll talk about is Hot Fuzz from uh, 2008, I believe. Now, this isn't considered a horror movie at all by anybody. But I think it has, like, excellent kills in it. I've never understood why it isn't in a horror category, to be honest, because it... It is a straight up like comedy slasher. Like the the guy is kill or the town. You guys have seen it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I'm trying to remember it. I saw it once, like right after it came out on like Blu-ray or, or on DVD or whatever. All right, and so it's got I don't Simon remember Peg it that well. and Nick Frost and from right Dawn of the Dead. Dead and all those, yeah. right? And it's kind of like a like a buddy cop movie that he moves to a village the village is evil they're basically an underground cult yes it's and a they cult don't like newcomers yeah they touch on everything like it's a giant cult all the like some of the kills are brutal yeah like just graphically brutal but it's i when i look it up it's not even it's just like action comedy which yeah. is weird i've never yeah. understood that because if movies like uh could i compare it to both. Uh, I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's so many, but I I, I just love it. Has it has a lot of horror, hot fuzz horror elements one. in yes. it. Yeah. Lots of horror elements. But Hot Fuzz is one of my like all-time favorite movies. I like it more than Shaun of the Dead from Edgar Wright. Oh, wow. But, but uh, you've seen it a lot. <laughs> which I've seen it so many times. It's got to be pushing yeah. like 50, I would say. <laughs> and I still laugh every time. It's just one of the comfort movies. Yeah. Throw it on and laugh. While you're doing other stuff, but yeah, yeah, pop was that would be one of my picks that right. should be considered horror that isn't. I, I think the thing with Hot Fuzz is I can see where you're going with it because it has those slasher who done it yeah. overtones at in like the probably the what the first and second act, and yeah. then after that it just turns to straight up action. Yeah, with over the top. Well, throughout the movie, there's over the top gore throughout it. So I can see, I can definitely see why, but I think I would. It's tough. Just, see, I can argue a bit. Like know, that the scene it's... where a girl get an old lady gets hedge shears. clippers or shears shoved down her chest. They stick out her back, and there's just blood everywhere. There's a scene where a, the guy loosens the. Brick yeah, on the top of the church, and it falls and crushes a guy's head into his body. Yep, and it's it's brutal. Even the ending where the guy trips and falls and has the thing stuck right through his neck, and it's coming out of his mouth, and he's like still alive and bleeding everywhere. Like it's it's vicious. Yeah, very gory. But yeah, you're gonna argue that it isn't. Shouldn't yeah, be. I I think that leans a little too comedic. See, it's hard because there's horror comedies, right? Like, as soon as mm-hmm. you thought said that, I immediately thought of, like, Club Dread. Well, Shaun of the Dead's a comedy. Yeah, too. Club, <laughs> Club Dread's a good comparison. That actually. is good. Yeah, like, I think Shaun of the Dead's, like, I think that's, like, peak horror comedy for me. I think it's, like, a perfect horror comedy. But Hot Fuzz is, is just so borderline, and it's... It pushes it, I know. Oh, yeah, it that's does. Because it's with, really on the edge. Yeah, with, like I've never even thought about it in a horror aspect. N- never have I have ever thought about that. I didn't. I, I know. definitely didn't think that was coming on the list. So that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, it's I wish I had seen me. it more recently because I really don't like. I, I just don't remember it well enough to to say one way or another. Yeah, but I just base it off of like when I put my movies into my collection into genres. Some movies really i have a hard time deciding where they go on the show and that has always been one where it's like where do i put this like yeah it could be in so many areas of my 
room right now. Like I have all genres all over the place separated and it could be in every corner basically, which is pretty wild. I love that. But that's a good point though. Yeah. That you don't know where I I always <laughs> end up putting it in horror comedy section because it's it kind of fits there the most. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have any arguing points? I guess it's it's been a while since I've seen it too, Rob. It's been years. Yeah. No, I see. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what year that movie came out, but that was whatever year that was, that was the last time I saw that movie. So yeah. It's yeah, two thousand eight, I believe. So yeah, it's a long time ago. <clears throat> All right, Kayla, you wanna hit us with uh one of your picks? Um yeah. Should I go with just the generic? Yep. Jurassic Park. Like I'm just going straight there. Mm-hmm. I have other ones that are good, but I don't know. I think Jurassic Park's a horror movie. Mm. That's one where you go on list and it's not considered. It's horror. not at all usually. Which yeah. I've always never really understood that because I mean it's got dinosaurs ripping people apart. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I to me. The thing that I was I always point to at Jurassic Park and say this is why it's a horror movie is the sequence in the kitchen with the raptors um, where the kids are hiding and everything. I'm like, that is just pure. That's straight out of every horror movie ever. I mean, that's just and it's and it's a, a, a an intense scene, especially for a kid. I mean, that's frightening as hell. Um, I mean, I you know, I've never not considered Jurassic Park a horror movie, but I, that's an argument that I have with people a lot. Yeah, that's the same here. Like, it's Jurassic Park's always in my horror sections. <clears throat> but yet, even when I do, like, I'm doing a yearly ranking thing of horror movies, I don't even rank the Jurassic Park movies <laughs> for the years, which even though I consider them horror movies, I still don't even include them, which is odd. But you know what you do include, and I find it crazy, is the um, the Godzilla, King Kong, those <laughs> yeah, movies <I> from <laughs> recent <laughs> Yeah. And I'm like, how are they any more horror than Jurassic Park? Like Jurassic Park has blood, has like these this creepy scene, like you say, with the raptors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole T Rex scene in general, where, where they're trapped in the cars, is scary. Yeah, where it's chasing and them. they're freaking out. And then Godzilla, he just like bulldozes buildings, <laughs> like he's not attacking people. She so how is Godzilla. no? I don't. I love the monster <laughs> movies. I'm just saying, how is that considered horror? But Jurassic Park is not considered horror well there's many people that would say godzilla isn't considered horror either well you consider godzilla horror i so Jurassic park therefore is horror (laughs) i hey i'm not arguing to be honest i actually consider Jurassic park a horror movie but when i look it up it's what it's It's like like action action... sci-fi i I don't even know what they classify it yeah plus Jurassic park has just uh gold bloom with the shirt all open and everything (laughs) exactly (laughs) doesn't hurt who doesn't want to see that (laughs) jurassic park is usually like on like most of these lists for people like on debate and yeah to be honest i think the jurassic park movies do a better job at building tensions in those horror scenes than any godzilla movie or king kong movie has done in the last i don't know how many years i'll admit that for sure um but like Jurassic Park starts with like that crazy ominous music and then mm-hmm. uh, it's uh, the guys trying to get the raptors in the enclosure and then you don't see anything but something gets to this guy and he's like it lifts this guy up in the air and that terrified me as a child. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the hand scene where it's like Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. A, that's a great horror movie cold open. Yes. Exactly. And these yeah, are like but it's debatable for it some is. reason to people it it kind of falls into that weird uh, action, like adventure, thriller. Hor- like it's almost like all of them wrapped into one, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's like the Mummy with Brendan Fraser. Um, it's all of these just a combination of everything. Yeah. Um, so it's like hard to say. Like most people will just classify it as a, like an adventure, and that's just unfair because i think uh jurassic park and the jurassic park movies have all done great like and usually in each movie there's like a great sequence of pure horror within it right yeah yeah except for yeah. that ebay when i like that one the what one? <laughs> the the dinosaur ebay whatever that was that not the newest one but the one before that oh were they although the newest one was oh, more about locusts than dinosaurs so that i was, hated the sort of jurassic world well, oh, yeah. the, terrible the, 
other than like the first Jurassic World, the rest of them are just fucking brutal. Yeah, I hated the beginning of the the second one, where the the long neck dies. Oh, that was a nice. <laughs> I that's cried. A... I literally <laughs> cried. Like, what the hell are you doing? And everyone's saying online, like that was the, the OG original. from Jurassic Park. Yeah. I'm like, what? The fuck? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I like that answer. Jurassic, Jurassic <laughs> Park's a good, definitely an excellent debating one. Yeah, uh, it's a good starting point for this topic because it's like the king of all the. Yeah, movies. I don't understand why people wouldn't consider it that, but. Yeah. Um. Should I read you guys off one of Sam's, or should I read you off one of mine first? Whatever you want. Whatever I want. Up um, to you. I'll go with Sam's just because I think it's. It's fun, and I got a little story about Sam's pick too. Uh, she has oh, this should be good. <laughs> she has, <laughs> she has requiem for a dream. <clears throat> hey, I have not seen that yet. Okay, it's on my list. After she tweeted, that ending fucked me up, so I'll yeah. have to watch it. Well, spoiler alert: it's awful. Yes. <laughs> okay. I don't well, like it either. I'll give it yeah. a chance, but I might land. I'll let up. Brennan talk about it because I. I, my opinion on this movie isn't very nice <laughs> oh no this is this is a movie that i have only watched once as well just because i know it how it affected me the first time i watched it so yeah i've just had no desire to go back and when she told me she was watching it i was just like go get ready buckle your seats because it's <laughs> it's just to tear you down like emotionally depressing movie and when she finished, I can remember she came out and she was like looking a little glum. I thought she might have been tired, but she's like, she's like, I really didn't like that movie. Like, I really didn't like it. And she started like tearing up a little bit. And I'm like, what's like, was the movie really that bad? She's like, yeah, it was really bad and sad. And the ending just fucked me up and I started crying, but I gave it a five star on Letterboxd. So I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, it's a good movie, but yeah, it's going to mess you up. What do you guys think? Is it horror or not horror? I never, uh, thought of it. I never thought of it in those terms before, but I can actually kind of see it as a horror movie. It is disturbing. You've yeah. described it to me, so I know what it's about. Yeah, it's mostly about like drug addiction, pretty much. Yeah, and it's been a long time since I've seen it, but I seem to remember like in the throes of uh, you know, being messed up or whatever, like the, the refrigerator coming to life or something. I mean, there's just a lot of weird sequences in that movie. Um, again, it's been a long time since I've seen. Probably I've seen Hot Fuzz before, uh, more recently than I've seen yeah. Requiem for a Dream. Um, me too, actually. I haven't yeah, seen but, it mid two thousands. Yeah, and, and again, I never thought of it in those terms, but I can kind of see a case for it. Yeah, I think I need a rewatch on it because, I, like I, I said, when you watch. haven't seen something that long ago, it's hard to like. I don't know. I hardly even remember movies I watched last week <laughs> yeah. because I watched so many that it's like, what one was that? But yeah, I think that one needs a rewatch, especially after Sam gave it a five. Because well, that's not a rewatch. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it just to say I've seen it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yep. just get, get ready to buckle in, and especially I think it's leans more horrifying, especially if you've had. Or if you can relate to what maybe these main characters are going through. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, a lot of what these people go through is just like a descent, essentially, to their lowest peaks. And they don't they don't get back up, which is the saddest part about it. Yeah. Um, and that's what I remember, too. You know, uh, I think it's Marlon. Is it Marlon Wayne that's in it? Yeah, Marlon Wayne. Yeah, he's fantastic in it. Surprisingly, Jared Leto's in it as well. Like, it's really well cast. Um hmm. But yeah, I, I even even before then, I always pictured this as a horror film as well. I never thought of it as anything less. Mm. Huh. So that's interesting. You've always thought of it that way, and I've never ever thought of it that way. But I, I can see it. It's just never occurred to me before. Yeah, me neither. That, that's one that I've always just. Well, you know, like I said, I haven't seen it in so long. It's hard to give. What what else? Favorites. What other category could you put? it into if not a horror i guess maybe a drama just a straight up drama is what i would consider but then it's got like but whack stuff like in the yeah channel. it well and it's also it's, really depressing yeah like and, and it's like a trip also it's like psychedelic yeah, yeah. interestingly yeah. enough i just googled it and it comes up on google as a horror slash drama 
Well, maybe it's okay. changed. So, yeah, Word. I've always just thought of it as a drama. I didn't really think of it as, as anything else. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, but I can see the case for it being a horror movie. Yeah, me too. I would argue it as a horror. As right now. Yeah. If I watch it again. I'll, I'll watch it this week and just I'll give you my thoughts on Letterbox <laughs> and Discord. I, I will not. <laughs> done with it? <laughs> See, one and done. One yeah. and done. A lot of movies are one and doneers. Yeah. Um, I'll throw out my movie and I'm going to go with um, we'll go with Silence of the Lambs, I guess. If we're gonna pick all kind of generic first picks yep. here, I gotta go with mm-hmm. Silence of the Lambs here. It's the only like Academy Award winning horror, but at the same time, it's considered to be a crime thriller. So, like, there's a lot of horror sequences in it. Anthony Hopkins is absolutely terrifying in it, and there's uh, Buffalo Bill also inspired by famous serial killers throughout the day and it's not like you don't get to see what he's doing to these poor women you see it full frontal but yeah for some reason because it was nominated and won oscars it's a crime thriller and not a horror anymore i i oh this one's this one's obviously the one of the hardest of all time actually that's why it's at the top of most lists because I don't know whether I consider it or I've never actually thought about it. But uh, what do you think? Well, I w- think would that, you consider it horror? I think there's horror elements for sure. Yeah, there's lots well, of horror elements. It's dark and like movies grimy. don't have to be like just blood filled massacre movies to be horror. <sighs> That's the problem that people have, I think. That right? is true. Yeah, it's a big genre. So. Horror, so, yeah, it's horror is so wide. Yeah, that it's it's hard. I, I like it, it is a horror movie because it's. I think because it focuses uh, more into the mind of the killer, it leans that way. Like a lot of movies don't go that deep into the psychoticness of the killer. Yeah, that's true. Actually, so, yeah, it's not just a word who done it looking yeah. for the serial killer kind of thing, leaving clues like who did it. It's like the mind and the the creepiness of him. Yeah. And then Buffalo Bill too. Plus Hannibal. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, with that. Yeah, this is something we go back and forth about a lot on my show. And I talking about it like I remember when it came out and it was always marketed as a horror movie. Like it was, that was just what it was. Everyone thought of it as a horror movie, and then it won the Academy Award, and all of a sudden it was a suspenseful thriller. Um, <laughs> it never made sense, you know. I mean, it, it's based on a book that was marketed as a horror novel. I mean, yeah. I I never really thought there's much of a doubt that it's that it's a horror movie. I don't think yeah. it's a particularly scary one, but it is a horror movie. Okay. Yeah. I've never actually uh, like seen any of the trailers for it. I'm curious to go back and watch an yeah, original fun. trailer. Yeah, I mean, I remember yeah you know, it being pushed as a as a horror movie, and then you know it got all this praise and critical acclaim, and then the next thing you know, it's the most suspenseful thriller of the year. The Oscars don't like horror though. Yeah, they really don't. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's... change the genre just to get it nominated. Yeah. I go, no, not horror. It's a suspenseful thriller. (laughs) It is a horror movie, though. You guys are right. Because it, like, it's just not super bloody crazy. Yeah, it's just not a gore fest. But it's good. You can even count it as, like, uh, it also uh, has elements of a lot of, uh, like, uncomfortability, I guess, throughout the movie, which, like, leads to a lot of, like, uh, an atmospheric dread because you have this young woman who's trying to get up in the FBI rankings and she's surrounded by men who are just demeaning her throughout the whole time. So whenever she's surrounded by men, all eyes are on her and it's really isolating. And you feel that with her as a character and through the camera, it makes it feel that way. It's yeah. almost yeah. Like, it's almost like that get out situation as well. Of, uh, Jordan yeah. Peele's get out. You kind of make yeah. it feel the same way, right? Well, I think another that movie was... that was being pushed as a sus- suspenseful thriller after it was nominated for an Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
that's one that I would actually argue is less <laughs> horror than Silence that. of the Lamb. Yeah, me too. Personally. Um, because I don't feel like it becomes a horror movie until like the final 15 minutes. I think it's a very different kind of horror is the thing. I don't, I don't think yes. it's, a, it's the kind of horror that we're used to. Um, and also, you know, as a white dude, it's kind of hard for me to to really relate to that to that kind of horror. That's that, right. That, that uh, minorities deal with on a daily basis in this godforsaken country. Um, so that's the hard part, though. So yeah. if a movie's only a horror movie to a certain race of people, but not to another race, could mm -hmm. it? It's hard. Actually, be a horror movie. It's weird. Well, it's a horror movie to you, certain people. That's for sure. You yeah. can put yourself in like their shoes, right? So I. I started okay. I I texted Sam the other day and said that I am in Get Out right now, but like for the exact same reason. But the thing is, I started working with a different crew on the weekends, and they're all black Jamaicans. Yeah, all nice people, all nice. But I am the minority. I am the white guy. I'm like, yeah. if they just decided to say fuck the white man today, guess what? I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> that's, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> So I get it. And like, there's a language barrier there too. So it also makes me feel like super uncomfortable and more isolated because, uh, you know, there, there's just not a proper way of communication, I guess. So like we try our best, but it's, I feel super isolated for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I mean, I, yeah, I understand that. I just like, I think of the beginning of get out when uh, the first guy that gets kidnapped is walking down the street and he's in a neighborhood that he quote unquote shouldn't be in. Uh, because he's a black man in a really nice neighborhood, not, you know, um, yeah, uh, yeah. He, uh, you know, and, and the car stops and, and is asking him, you know, what he's doing or whatever. And he's like, ah, oh. <laughs> and that's just something that I, to me, I would never experience that because no one questions if I'm walking down the street at night in the neighborhood. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's definitely like if, if, you can like put yourself in the shoes, but at the same time, you we don't know what it would be like for real. We couldn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we couldn't know. So it's hard to say that like when I watched it, I wasn't scared even once. Yeah. I didn't I didn't think <clears throat> I didn't think like I think it's an excellent movie and everything, but mm -hmm. I I, I don't know, like up until the very end where they introduce the sci-fi element, I don't even think it could be classified as a horror at all up until then. Like if you were categorizing it, what would the genre be if you took away the ending? Right. Like would it be a horror at all or is it just a drama? Well, like still, I, don't, I don't know. And thriller. You still got all those uh, weird happenings throughout the movie with the "Quote unquote grandparents that are uh, the gardener and the maid that do the odd crazy thing here and there, right? Like, the yeah, yeah, grandpa's definitely. jogging at night when he's having a smoke and he's running <laughs> sprinting till straight at him. Yeah. That yeah. scene That's is horrifying. one of the best scenes I've ever seen. Actually. Yeah, but, I think yeah. it's just it would be considered yeah. psychological thriller. Psychological or, thriller. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or the yeah the scene with the. The grandmother is the maid who's when she's just looking at him and saying no over and over again. And it's just, I mean, there's a lot of crazy yeah, stuff in the, movie. the yeah. acting's yeah. so good that it's, yeah, yeah. it makes it's it actually intense. falls in the same line as Silence of the Lambs in a lot of categories. I was getting ready to say, well, didn't we start this talking about Silence of the Lambs? Yeah. <laughs> and, and they both kind of fit in the same category, in my opinion, if you're putting them like in a what, genre. The together. genre would sit. Yeah, where it would sit. Because it's the same. It's just like extreme. It's psychological, a lot of it. Yeah, and the performances are so damn good that yeah. it kind of ups everything else in the movie, right? That's yeah. what I would say. Yeah. But Silence of the Lambs, yeah, and Get Out. I guess we can just knock both those off together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> but yeah, all right, both Rob. all right, Rob. What's uh next on your list? Uh, the next one on my list is funny because um we have a constant argument um on slasher radio about uh this next movie i swear it's a horror movie i have a co-host who says it's not and the big argument that we always get into is i say this one's more of a horror movie than silence of the lambs is and that is david fincher's seven seven oh, scratch that. that's one of our I have, mine. I have it on mine too yeah i this movie to me 
I, I don't even, and I listened to another podcast today where the host was talking about how he watched seven for the first time and he doesn't understand why people call it a horror movie. And I don't understand how people can't. Yeah. That one's, it's disturbing. It goes from scene to scene of just disturbing shit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I mean, everything about the movie screams horror movie to me. Uh, yeah, Yeah. The ending is crazy, but just you know, throughout the movie, you've got all the kills that you see, and and the the killers following the the seven deadly sins as he goes along, and and yeah, I get that it part of it is the police procedural of the investigation to try to find him, but I don't think that negates it from being a horror movie. Yeah. No, especially yeah. when every time they find a dead body, it's like the most horrendous <laughs> yeah. dead body you've ever seen. Right. It's just I mean, like brutal. You watch Halloween, 70% of that movie or more is following Dr. Loomis around trying to catch Michael Myers. <laughs> That's right. That That is true. Yeah. And it's it, like, seven, seven also has like the greatest jump scare in movie history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when yeah. the sloth guy opens his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it's disturbing. <laughs> It that falls one. under the same uh, thing as Silence of the Lambs, too, where it's like more focused on the killer and how his mind works and how psychotic he truly is. Yes. Yeah. Like that a lot. Those make for the best. Yeah. Plus, who's they stand out? Kevin Spacey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He, he's such a good actor in the 90s and so many freaking just beastly roles. But yeah. yeah. It's amazing how he stole the stole like the screen with his very limited time. On yeah, it, he's the movie. Yeah. yeah, maybe ten Barely minutes. In the movie. Yeah. yeah, and also if you if you watch it, you'll notice he's not in the opening credits. Oh, nice! Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, I did. yeah I he did. he wanted uh, he he told David Fincher to leave him out of the opening credits because he wanted to keep the mystery alive. That's amazing. That's cool. Yeah, because that That's always annoys punch. me when I'm watching a horror movie and the, it shows you all the names. In the opening yeah, like, well, that person, <laughs> the one person hasn't shown up yet. You're like, oh, I wonder who the killer is. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but yeah that's awesome let's right, but yeah let's cool. yeah seven i i've never i haven't quite I, I don't understand people who don't find it to be a horror movie it's it's never made sense to me um and, and it's speaking so good. Of physical media i still want to get a that's one i was on the fence about was that seven special edition that came in the box and everything that looks so cool yeah yeah i've seen that i don't have it i wish i did though yeah that's a what umbrella media or i don't remember I just I know I found it or I, I was looking at it, it was like 150 bucks and I was on the fence about it. And I didn't I know it's trigger. so tough. It's tough to drop 150 bucks on one movie. Yeah. Yeah. What you get for that 150 bucks though is pretty worth it. That's yeah. 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 I mean it's it's really cool, but I, I haven't I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Seven is a good pick though. Yeah, I would, it was uh, on my list, so yeah, it was uh, yeah, it was on our both of our lists actually. So yeah. I I definitely stayed clear of it because I knew it was going to be somebody's choice. <laughs> <laughs> that one's always up for debate. Um, Bo Kayla, who's going? Uh, what do I got next here? I'll go off another one that is, might be on one of your guys' lists as well, and that's uh, Pan's Labyrinth. We already brought up Shape of Water. Let's do Pan's. Have you seen it, Brendan? Oh, yeah, long Long Back in the first yeah. Uh, you, Rob, you've seen it probably, right? Uh, so I was drinking with my brother one night, and we started it, and I think I made it halfway through and fell asleep, and I never finished it. Oh, oh shoot. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard it's one. A I just one. recently watched it probably four months ago or so, and the first, I, I remembered it as a pure horror movie back when I watched it when it came out in the early or mid 2000s or but i always thought of it as a horror movie but then on this rewatch it really isn't like i would argue that it isn't a horror movie but it on the is rewatch a horror movie i i don't know i, I think this is another one that's kind of bounced what, back and forth line? between people but it, I would say it has the horror elements of like all the creatures. Oh, that it's a yeah, I guess it's really violent. Like Shape of Water, it's kind of in the same vein where yeah, the creatures are all creepy. Like there's a giant toad that lives under a tree, and it's pretty creepy looking, but it's not scary. It doesn't eat anybody. It doesn't. It's not a killing yeah. monster. 
It's all fairy tale. I can't right? remember the movie 100%. Yeah, but isn't she in hell? Uh, where, where are that, those creatures? The ending. No, I didn't. Oh, I was, okay. I'm not going to spoil the ending. Okay. Just because Rob hasn't seen it. And no, because he, he, it's, if I haven't watched it by now, that's on me. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> the ending does burst it to horror territory. Yeah. Yes. But okay. leading up to that, it's mostly just a like thriller. What defines horror, though? This is such oh, a hard conversation. I know this converse. Yeah. I've been thinking about this for like two weeks, trying to figure out because even the relationship with the father and daughter is horror to me. Like it's scary as hell. That's the most horror element of the whole yeah. movie. Is just how awful her stepfather is. Mm-hmm. Well, is, is he a Nazi? Yeah, he's a yeah. Nazi. Yeah, it's so, brutal. Duh. He's mean. But I would argue that it. Oh, I, see this i feel like i'm contradicting myself because in one statement i'm saying this shouldn't be a horror movie but this should but this should but they both walk and toe that line so perfectly that i i don't know it I could would be say... the sub genre like it's this this and this but horror is included in those three things you know yeah yeah so i was gonna argue that it wasn't a horror movie but then it while is. talking about it i'm like well actually <laughs> you talked yourself out it of is it. yeah i <laughs> talked myself into the other direction there you go. yeah so i'll argue that it is a horror movie i guess there's a whole sequence in that movie that's absolutely like horrifying and the creature design is insane i was like i i don't yeah. i don't know yeah. i don't know how to describe or i don't know remember what his name is but the, the pale man yeah. the, <laughs> that's all i know how to describe him as but um yeah, yeah i think that creep? That movie like is like a grim grim fairy tale. So yes, most of those have are all based in some kind of horror or not. That's true. Um, yeah, it feels like you're reading just a fairy tale horror novel by yeah. the Grimm brothers. Yeah, so that's what it is. I decided to pull up the definition of horror. Just okay. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, an intense feeling of fear, shock, or disgust. Okay, and that depends on the person watching it too. Of really. Course. Yeah. Oh, I know that's so open. It to is like hundreds of, of it, genre, yeah. genres. It's crazy. Yeah, for sure. Personal. What do you got? Let's uh, jump over to you and do one. <clears throat> I wrote Shutter Island down. Shutter Island. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a really debatable one. Yeah, I know, but it like it tells the line too, and it was it's a hard list. Like ugh. Shutter Island. It says, I think it believe it says crime thriller, but I don't know. I feel like it's like creepier than a thriller. This is one I would have to argue isn't a horror. Well, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what Done. would you guys argue on Shutter Island? You guys have seen that, right? I, I want it to be a horror movie really bad because I want to say Martin Scorsese made a horror movie. Right? <laughs> That's um, what it is. Yeah, I'm not sure that it is. It's really hard to determine. I mean, I guess my 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 gut instinct is it says no, but I can definitely see the case for it. Like I see why people think it is, and I've heard people call it a horror movie before. Yeah, um, and it, again, I really want Martin Scorsese to make a horror movie, so it would be great. You know, technically, it is his take on a horror movie. It is yeah. <laughs> just tame. Yeah. But it has a little bit of a ghost element. Yeah. Yeah, it's really dark. A lot of the people on the island are like deformed and scary looking. And it's a mystery that leads to his horrific act. Yeah. Right? Yeah, horror mystery. Yeah. It's probably its genre if you were to look it up or crime, crime horror mystery type of thing. It's, yeah. it's category is thriller mystery. I've always considered this movie also a horror movie. I've never thought about it any other way. Oh, wow. You, I think you put it in your yearly ranking. I did too. put it in my yearly so. ranking. It's because it's so good that it's hard <laughs> not to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just rank it. I, it's good. I vaguely remember the trailers for this movie when it came out being mainly directed in the, the horror aspect way. Was it not? It was. It, they they really did market it that way, and they, I mean, they did call it Martin Scorsese's horror movie was sort of how they really pushed it, but I think once I saw the movie, I kind of walked out of the theater thinking, well, it was really a horror movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's a really tough one, because it does have a lot of elements of that, uh, of of being a horror film, but yeah, I'm not sure that I would consider it one, but it's it's really close. 
Yeah, it feels almost too classy to me. <laughs> too classy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like it's almost too well, it, yeah, it's too, <laughs> too well scorsese. made to even yeah. fall into the the horror genre to me, but to each their own, like I don't know. It, it, it was a hard list to make, so I just well, yeah. it is another extremely debatable one. That well, might be the know, most debatable. It could be argued that Scorsese did make a horror movie in Cape Fear. Cape is Fear, yeah, was, yeah, I kind of forget about that one. Is Cape so Fear do I. I mean, is I would say it's more horror than Shutter Island, in my opinion. <laughs> yes, because De Niro turns into a crazy. You're talking about the remake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, De Niro yeah, like, like one all the plays way a through. good psychopath. He does. Yeah. Final act. Yeah, I, I always thought I've never. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. Yeah. But I've always pictured. I always thought that was a horror movie. Yeah. I would argue it as a horror. Cape Fear is a horror as yeah. well. It's an insane, crazy stalker, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turn murderous. It it yep. says on its uh, classification would be a crime thriller. Crime thriller. Yeah, there's a lot of those, eh? That's yeah. because, of course, of Scorsese crime. made it, and they don't want to admit it to horror. That, it, yeah, I'm surprised they didn't throw the word gangster in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Shutter Island actually has a little bit of gangster feel because it, it's so like yeah, film noir. Yeah, yeah, it is. It has a really yeah noir feel to that movie. They're also playing with him like because he's crazy and doesn't remember. They're like well, they're playing a, a detective investigation thing through, so it feels yes to try like and heal as well. Yeah, yeah. it's good. <laughs> it's good. I need to watch that one again. <laughs> <laughs> All this does every time I come on here, I just get. I want I like I just make a list of everything I'm gonna watch in the next day. <laughs> All right. Um, Who's next? Oh Sam. Sam's next. next. Um she's pulling a John Cena. Oh <laughs> I can't I'm I'm gonna try to think of a way to defend her on this one, but she was <laughs> Oh she, she was saying that Joyride could be considered not a horror, straight up horror movie. Um, that's really hard. I don't know. Man. I can't remember the like How you... the kills in it. I can't remember. Yeah, because the kills aren't exactly like you don't see a lot of them. You get mainly a lot of aftermath. Mostly chase, right? So yeah, yes, yeah. And what I remember from what I remember, there's well, there's two, right? There's three. There's three. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and they get like hardcore in the horror in the next like even the next one dead end oh, no, no no i mean I, I was talking about the number of kills in the movie yeah oh, i can't remember um, i think there's only the two and the one guy i'm not even sure dies so it might just be the one yeah i think there's only like one yeah pretty much one. and kill. that's the then that's the ice truck driver and we don't see i mean that's nothing really no in terms of like a horror true. movie kill you know what oh, that movie bothers me because the voice him. throughout of the whole movie is the same guy that plays Buffalo Bill. Yeah, Ted and then Levine. it's not him at the end. I'm like, really? I know. Guy's good. Like, why not cast him the whole time? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea why they didn't just get Ted Levine to come in and do that. <laughs> I, I don't know. It was freaking annoying. Yeah, that is true though. I've always considered that pure horror. Yeah, but yeah, I'm trying to think of the kills and now I can't that remember any of them. No, I don't even think there is any that are on screen at all. You no. Can... I, I always thought it was a good movie until I had to rewatch it for my podcast. That movie is not good. No, you don't like it? I no. Like it's right. a soft spot. <laughs> I like it a lot. I love it. Oh, really? <laughs> the candy not cane stuff. Just the candy cane. Just his performance, to be honest. His performance <laughs> is great. He's, but I, lo- I Yeah, I love Ted Levine and pretty much everything. He's great, but the the movie as a whole i just was not into <laughs> i don't love lily is it lily so yeah i don't love yeah. her they just and casted then... all the young sexy people they could find at the moment and She's steve's dead. on for some reason <laughs> <Yeah>. i think <laughs> and steve's and on is great like, in that movie okay. i love him Zon- I, I think uh, i think the truck driver was sexier than those fuckers <laughs> so <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Not really. Looks like I'm <laughs> doing a Buffalo Bill tonight. I didn't want Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> no, Joyride's tough. I don't know. I would say it has to be horror to me, but yeah, 
I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, I mean, I could see a case for saying it's not a horror movie. I mean, we did it on my horror movie podcast, so I sort of feel like I have to say it's a horror movie. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I wouldn't argue too hard with somebody who didn't consider it one. Yeah, it's so weird. I've always thought it's a pure horror movie, but now that you brought it up, it's the first time I've ever thought of it like deeply, yeah. to be honest. And like it's freaky someone chasing you around in a truck, but it, that's the only yeah. thing that's heard. Yeah. Yeah, Just it's like a worse favorite. version of the Hitcher. Oh, I love the that's Hitcher. That's my problem yeah. is that the Hitcher yeah. is better. Than yeah, my and the Hitcher is a solid horror movie. Yeah, he wants to kill people. Yeah, yeah he's brutal. But yeah. Does it make you Same not want to honk at trucks and like piss a truck driver off? Is it, that movie has <laughs> always made me never want to honk at a truck driver ever again. That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I would love to be a truck driver. I would have a radio and I'd just go around saying candy cane <laughs> constantly. <laughs> just not everybody saying just to that would be fun. Sure everybody. I'm sure every I'm sure everybody with a CB radio after oh. they came out just annoyed the fuck out of truck drivers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. That was a game that was played for a while between truck drivers and that. That's hilarious. That's a good one, Sam. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the debate. Yes. I am gonna go with Red Eye. Red Eye. We just watched that. Just watched that like two days ago, three days ago. Yeah, I forgot to say that one. I I Uh, just watched it last week too, actually. Everybody was everybody's watching Red Eye. (laughs) (laughs) Apparently, yeah. I always thought Red Eye was a thriller. I never considered it a horror movie. Um, No, I don't know. Yeah. After we just watch it, I would say that it's not a horror movie. Yeah, I would agree. It is directed by Wes Craven. Yeah. So does that make it a horror movie? That's the I thing. Know. I hate the word horror just means things different things to different people. But yeah. yeah, I would I would probably put that in the thriller kind of thriller. Way. Yeah. It feels kind of like a Liam Neeson, like modern Liam Neeson. Almost, like. yeah. But I do want to see Killian in more roles like that where he's a psycho. Yes. I love that too. What do you think, Brennan, considering it's your pick? <laughs> it, it turns into a full on slasher by the end of the movie. Like and them running around the house. Um, he's got the you know what he's he's been stabbed in the neck, so he can't talk. But there is this huge cat and mouse running around the house. He's got a knife. She's trying to defend herself. This the the movie. The problem with the movie is the most the the horror of the movie is on the plane, and that's like the best part. And then yeah. the uh, the chase scenes throughout the house is just kind of. It drags on too long, for sure. It, it, it's been a while since I've seen it, and I kind of forgot that that even happened. Me too, actually, when I was yeah. watching. I, I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't think it was going to be so dragged out. Yeah. But you can definitely feel those, feel the scream uh, vibes, like, at the end, where they're running around the house and chasing each other around and everything like that. And I just don't see how it's not. And why I even thought about this movie is because Killian Murphy just brought up the fact that he thinks it's a bad movie but he thinks it's a good b movie mm, so really um, oh. yeah it just, I mean, that's fair i you know um it is average at least he acknowledges the movie i mean <laughs> <laughs> that is true um yeah i know i i still have a hard time seeing it. it and again it's been a while since i've seen it but i still have a hard time seeing it as a horror movie you wanna- yeah you guys want to know what it is categorized under under Google? Sure. Mm-hmm. It is horror mystery. Really? really? Yeah. That's wow. a horror movie, but Cape Fear isn't. I don't understand yeah, that. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> I think there's something I, too about crazy. Killian Murphy's performance in this movie. It's absolutely it's 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 kind of it's almost a, not Anthony Hopkins level of Hannibal, but it's very good when he he's like charming and young, like fun to talk with at the start, and then. Once he turns, he turns, and I, yeah. it's, it's got to be the blue in his eyes or something like that. But like, <laughs> it looks like there's fucking nothing there when he's like threatening. Yeah, yeah. He, looks he looks like, like a villain. Yeah, he looks, but yeah, he's got a villain face, all angular sure. and stuff. It looks very yeah. He does a good job, and I love when she stabs him in the throat, and he's like, <sighs> like chasing her around with a holding his neck and not being able to breathe really. Yeah, I love that. 
I wish the movie just didn't have the uh the I guess like since it's mystery the the crime kind of aspect of taking out the senator or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that was that that's so rough to watch now, but yeah. just if you go if you think too much about it, it just all falls apart. That's the <laughs> that that was the the part that kind of took me out of the whole movie, like to be honest. Yeah. Cuz at that point it was just like uh, like it, I don't know. It felt if it wasn't for Killian Murphy's performance, I think that movie is like almost garbage. To be honest, uh, like you, you got well, he's, he's that's a little much. I would say. <laughs> you got, you got Rachel I don't, I don't, Adams, you got Brian Cox. Yeah, it's a great cast. Yeah, I don't know. I when I was like, I watched it because of Kayla. She wanted to, and I was like, all right let's do this and i didn't really like it at all to be honest like i yeah i think i gave it like a two or something and i like i've seen i've seen that storyline multiple times that that was my problem which part the plane part like yeah you're on a plane there's a guy like it feels like die hard 46 (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like where they're just really running out right. of storylines in a diehard series so they you're like you're just I, doing so i don't know i don't, I don't know i like I didn't the like... two person dynamic though that it's just the, like their two performances the two are great but and it doesn't i mean you gotta have else, more really. than just two performances cat and mouse really good. i don't know but i enjoyed it i don't know, I don't know it wasn't the best guys. movie of all time but i enjoyed it yeah, I yeah. still enjoyed my watch through. No, I think it's a fun movie. I just don't know that it's a fun horror movie. Apparently, to Google it is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is the like, only oh, one I think I've looked up so far that actually has horror. Yeah. Reasons, so. yeah. It's the director. Yeah, I must be wrong. All, both Scorsese movies, they said not horror movies. Wes Craven, they're like, oh, that's got to be a horror movie. That's yeah, what I feel Wes like. Craven did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was directed by like, Liam Neeson or something, it'd just be like, oh, Liam Neeson's got another action movie. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I guess to each their own. <laughs> <laughs> that one kind of irks me a little bit because I, I didn't think it was horror at all. Like, no, I, I didn't never think, considered that. I thought horror. of it. No, I thought it was just like the fugitive and all the other action thrillers I've seen, like hundreds of them. Yeah. yeah. But it did come up on another horror movie podcast that I listened to just a couple of weeks ago. And I was surprised. And now we're sitting here talking about it. And you guys have all watched it. What's going on with this damn movie? <laughs> That's <laughs> odd, eh? Yeah. It's weird. It was it's like, probably uh, Killian Murphy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, one, it, it was one of the first movies I thought about when uh, we were doing this list. Actually. Really? Yeah. Oh. That's wild. It, it That's was cool. another one that was marketed as, I'd, I'd say it was marketed as a horror movie. I guess it's because Wes Craven's name's on it as well. But. Yeah. I can I can yeah. remember the trailer and it's fairly horror aesthetic. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the tra- <laughs> I don't remember the trailer or anything, but yeah, you know, Wes Craven also directed Music of the Heart, guys. He didn't just make horror movies. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I think that was the <laughs> only one that wasn't a horror movie, but still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When you think Wes Craven, you think horror. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I do at least, but. I don't know. I'll let Brendan go on that one, I guess. <laughs> um, well, we'll move on to our third and final picks from everybody. Starting out with Rob. Uh, I'm torn here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. Uh, I think this one. Um, and that that is untraceable. Have you guys seen Untraceable? I have. Oh, yeah. oh, not in so freaking long. I can't even. Yeah. Remember. I really like this movie and I think it's underrated and I think it's a horror movie, but I don't hear people talk about it. I don't hear people talk about it enough anyway, but I don't hear people talk about it as a horror movie really at all. Yeah. That one went right under the radar. Even when it came out. Is that the movie where the FBI agents are trying to catch the The guy who's killing people? Yeah. It's like a live stream online. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like saw a bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Like, but good. I would say that was horror. <laughs> the first saw you don't like the first saw. The first one's all right. Yeah. The rest of that franchise is garbage. 
I watched it not too long ago, and Untraceable is actually pretty good. Yeah, I really like it. I haven't seen it in a while, but I, I've always thought of it as a horror movie, and I just never hear anyone talk about it in the horror community. It, I would classify it 100% a horror movie. If some of the traps and like stuff he's setting up online were absolutely brutal. No. You could you could tell that they were like trying. Someone else was trying to make a saw movie. That's what I get from it. But you get better performances because you got like top notch actors like Diane Lane. Yeah, uh, Caller Hanks is in it. He does a good job. There's a bunch of people in it. Well, that's right. Colin Hanks is in that. Yeah, yeah I, know. I haven't yeah. seen it in a while. I need to check it out again. Me too. It's been a long. I don't think I've seen it since it came out either. It came out in 2008. It is considered a horror mystery. Horror mystery? Okay. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe maybe it's not that people don't think of it as a horror movie. Maybe people just don't like it. I think. Yeah. This, did this one I just come remember. and go? Like, did this ever have a theatrical release? I think it. I think it had a theatrical release, but I, I do feel like it it came and went real quick. Like, I, well, I don't think it was a huge success by any stretch. No, I don't either. Because I I. Other than this, I don't think I've ever talked about it before. Right. <laughs> yeah, I haven't either. I guess I need to watch it because yeah. I don't like. I know I I've remember. seen it, but oh, so long ago that it would have been back when it first came out. Exactly, two thousand eight. I don't remember it at all. Its box office was not good. Fifty three million. Who um, else is in it besides what's her name? Diane, Diane Lane, Lane. It's Colin Hanks. There's a couple other familiar faces, but they're the two like okay. names on the cover. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to give it a watch. Budget was thirty-five million. It made fifty-four. That's not terrible. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Still plus, I guess. It's probably good. Not by much. Yeah, <laughs> plus that you always have to remember with but, the budget, they don't include the marketing budget in that. That's yeah. production yeah. budget alone. She's she's not like a big Hollywood like star draw, so I don't know. Diane Lee. Yeah. Like she had maybe a few movies ago. She had a run. Yeah. 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 She but I don't know if she would be bringing months. people to the theater. Right. With her name kind of thing, right? Yeah. So I I like you it. need to watch it again, I guess. Yeah, I do. I will. Writer on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Kind. I think it might be interesting just to watch it now just to see the technology. Like how yeah. much things have changed and, and whether or not it holds up, because that's always kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's especially fun to watch any internet based movie from like the 90s, and you're just like, What the hell did they think computers were? <laughs> yeah, 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 where they just think the internet totally different than what it actually is. <laughs> I love that, see that all the time, especially in old, like even older movies. Oh, yeah, my favorite is like Alien, where it's supposed to be set so far in the future, and they still have like those old crappy monitors with the green text on them. It looks like a yeah, yeah. 64. <laughs> yeah the spaceships are all like yeah, yeah they're yeah. using ancient technology to fly do stuff that we can't even do today yeah <laughs> <laughs> amazing uh, i think that's a really really good pick rob and i am honestly haven't thought about that movie since it probably came out i don't think about it a lot but i really liked it when it came out and um i was i remember being disappointed that it wasn't getting more attention and then yeah it just kind of went away and nobody ever talks about it Maybe we'll do an episode on it. Maybe it sounds like it'd be up Sam's alley for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It would. There's not a lot of sex in it, though. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's no Friday the 13th right, remake. But... <laughs> yeah, Sam imagine. needs sex. Can't imagine it's extremely quotable either, like <laughs> stupendous or anything like that. Oh my God. <laughs> that line is so annoying. <laughs> you hate it too. I I like I love it. no, I like that like, movie. Yeah. I don't love it like Sam, but I, I enjoy it. But that fucking line drives me nuts. Because they aren't like that. I, I like there the are better movie. boobs out there. I, I like the boobs. <laughs> well <laughs> I'm sure you do. They're stupendous. Fuck off. Um I I like <laughs> Friday the thirteenth, but I don't think it's like I don't even think like it's middle of the pack in the Friday the Thirteenth franchise. Yeah, I I feel like it's a movie I, I can I can struggle through it. 
<laughs> struggle. <Yeah. laughs> I don't think it's that bad. But. I ask a lot of questions when I'm watching it. Like, why the fuck is Jason a pot farmer? Why the fuck are all these tunnels around here? Why is he kidnapped that girl and not killing her? What the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not my Jason. It is silly. Like, yes, I found that too. I also didn't like his running. I thought him, Jason running was weird. Yeah. At the beginning. They made him human. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. not human. Like well, I don't know, it's weird. They just if uh, you go by storyline, sorry. They just kind of brought him into the the real world in that movie. Yes, yes. I'm trying to make it more grounded. Which I don't know how you do with that kind of premise, but uh, I think they did a good job. I actually, uh, I'd say it's like probably in my top at least four for the franchise. Oh. Yeah. For the for the Friday Thirteenth franchise. Oh yeah. yeah Jason Take Manhattan is better. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> I wanted so much from that movie. Yeah, we all did. Yeah. yeah. I oh, that's hard. I won't get into that. Obviously, I'm getting off topic now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll drift right off. Especially when we start getting into franchise rankings. I'll go down that yeah, for all, all day. <laughs> I was it literally just was in my head, and I'm thinking of all the Friday Thirteen movies. I was yeah. ranking them. That's a I different like, episode. Yeah, let's get off. I've yeah. got a list on Letterbox. I can pull it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, uh, Bo. Do you want to go? Sure, I'll finish mine here. My last pick is going to be Terminator from 84. Oh. I can't stand that most people don't think this is a horror movie, but I I don't understand it because it, it's not Terminator 2 where it's right. just action, action, action. That could action. still be considered horror. It could, that could still be considered horror, but yeah. it's that's a solid like nonstop action movie where the first Terminator, there isn't a whole lot of action. Like, it is straight up robot mm -hmm. pacing a girl to kill her front to back on the whole movie right yeah it's it's yeah. a robot from the future slasher movies what it is yep. yes the robot from the future slasher movie yeah definitely yeah. that's the category that it would be in for me I and it, but that. yet when you go to like night if you were to click in like 1984 horror movie it wouldn't even be considered yeah but i don't i don't know when i get to that year it's definitely getting ranked i think uh, yeah. the, the problem agree. with terminator is it's 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 not usually seen on its own it's lumped into the franchise yes right the first yeah. movie is so much different i've yeah. only seen the second one i haven't watched any of the other terminators i heard they were awful um but the second one to me is is definitely i would definitely call that an action movie i assume yeah. the other ones are the rest of them are probably action movies as well definitely but that yes. first one to me does feel like a horror movie yeah, it's dark. Like the whole yeah. movie's dark. There's not any like lit up settings in the whole movie. There's no, no. there's one comedic line with Arnold, the uh, I'll be back, but it's not even meant to really be comedic. It was made comedic afterwards yeah. with how iconic it became. And then like him losing all his skin ripping off, and all you can see is his red eye chasing her from the thing at the yeah, that's part, scary. Like, it, it, I don't know. I watched it when I was really young, and I remember it actually creeping me out. Well, the bit. second one creeped me out as a kid too. But well, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I've always considered it a horror movie. But you're right, though, uh, Brendan, because it's it's hard because you think of the franchise, mm -hmm. like it. The whole, every mm -hmm. other movie is just a fun action movie. Yeah, like I try, I try so hard to get Sam to watch this movie. Because I tried to describe it to her, and she's like, nah, it doesn't sound like it's my thing. I'm like, it's a slasher movie about a robot that's sent back in time who's killing all these people named Sarah Connor <laughs> yeah. and hopes that he gets the right one to stop, you know, the robots in the future uh, from losing. And, like, some guy comes back, and he has to defend her. And it's, it's got, like, uh, the special effects now look pretty dated. There's a few animatronic scenes that look pretty rough, but... For the most part, they all look really good. It's gory. Like, there's, yeah, there's the punchline or whatever. They all be back. But then again, like you said, it only happens once. And Arnold's like, like, it's incredibly t intimidating. And in that, yeah, 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 he's scary as shit. I think if you take, take away the fact that it's a robot from the future and you just 
think of it as a movie about a guy who's hunting down someone named Sarah Connor and going through the phone book and just killing anyone named Sarah Connor, hoping that he gets the right one. That's a horror movie. Yeah, it only sure. it only becomes <laughs> a question because it's a robot from the future. Yeah, yeah. they just throw it in the sci fi category. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, Terminator is listed as an action sci-fi. Yeah. Look up Predator. That one's not even considered horror by Google standards. That's stupid. Weirdos. What? Yeah. Yeah, Predator. I looked it up ahead of the episode, and it's like, I was it gonna doesn't say horror. I was going to put that on my list because that's like one of my all-time favorites. But so Google just doesn't know what it's talking about. Apparently, that isn't even really a <laughs> horror movie. That's a horror but movie. Whatever. I mean, maybe people have a hard time with the sci-fi horror. I mean, that could be. Reason. Yeah, sci-fi, aliens, for some reason. Yeah. people, A lot of people are just like, if it isn't a man killed slashing people, then it's not horror. But yeah. I don't know. I disagree. Yeah, horror is so broad. Thing gets people yeah. confused. And also one. with both of those movies, you've got Arnold Schwarzenegger starring in them. And he was yep. big in action films throughout. So I think a lot of people go, well, it's yes. just an action movie. It's got, it's got him in it. That's true. Mm, that's true. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. He's shooting people in both movies, you know. Not a tip <laughs> guns yeah. aren't typically horror movie weapons, you know. Yeah. That is true. It, it is an action movie. Predator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's action horror. Action until horror. until it's not, right? Until yeah, it's not. Until it's yes. Not. Until it's they scary. all get them destroyed. Some of them I, pretty brutally. Because I watched it not too long ago. Um and yeah, there's a, definitely a distinct turn when it turns from horror action to horror, and you notice it every time. But, um, yeah, like the people describe that as like that's late in the '80s. I think I can't remember exactly when it came out, but like Arnold Schwarzenegger has been been in some action movies, and he's like huge. And then you get to see him go up against something that he's never, nobody's ever seen before, and he gets scared, and all these big macho men are dying off, and like what's killing them, you know? So I, I like I definitely say it's a horror, even though in sci-fi is it's touchy because it's like i looked up alien because i was curious but that one says horror sci-fi yeah so yeah well alien i think <laughs> is largely considered horror sci-fi it's aliens where you run into more of an action movie than a horror film almost yes yeah, yeah definitely the first alien movie is pure horror to me yeah the second one is fun it's yeah just... it's a lot of fun it's a really good movie i just mm -hmm. oh aliens is excellent yeah see that one's considered the sigourney uh... and her tidy whiteies yeah. uh, <laughs> the aliens underwear that doesn't fit horror action yeah which one it's the number Sorry. two aliens. aliens oh yeah, yeah yeah i mean i can see that yeah yeah there's so many you could honestly we could I could probably make two, two or three pages of movies that should fall in this category. Yeah. But it's it really that's why I love horror so much is because it's just so broad and like so many movies could be classified as horror. I've watched martial arts movies recently that yeah. I could I would actually probably rank in horror because they're so brutally violent that it's hard it's hard not to like, flying. like if someone rips a guy's arm off and he's killing <laughs> other people with the guy's arm and shit like that is that not horror like it's horror kung fu it's i don't know if jason did it it'd be a horror movie that's true yeah but yeah. it's tough what's your final number what do you got apparently fall isn't a horror movie fall no oh, it's not oh. considered fall or oh, fall is oh, not Oh, you've never seen it. It's Paul? the tower one. I don't oh, know. Oh, no, no, I couldn't watch that one. No, I'm oh, afraid of heights. Okay. There's no way. So, yeah, that's a horror movie. <laughs> <That's> yeah. <laughs> that, that movie, but, that trailer got to me so bad. I was like, there's no fucking way. I it watched rough. it in my bedroom and I was scared in my bedroom with my small TV. And I'm like, Bo, I need to watch it on the big TV out in the living room because this movie, like, good thing. It makes you feel crazy scared. But yeah, it was brutal. I had a couple other ones down that fall under like the anxiety horror, like 127 hours and gravity. Like, where are those considered horror because they induce so much like fear while you're watching them? I don't think I've ever heard of either one of them considered horror, but I, I could see the case for it. 
kind of the um, same as fall. Like it, you're, you fear that thing. You have an anxiety for that thing. Fall so. is definitely horror. Yeah. Because I could barely even watch it. Like I had to get up and leave the room a few you times. Know, I, I did. And, I saw the it's, trailer. I it's a good one. It's I a went, good nope. one. Yeah. It's a good movie. Sam, Sam, we also had to take a break. I can't remember how long how long we made it into the movie, but I don't think it was long before we took a break. Yeah, as soon as they start climbing the damn tower. Like, even the scenes where they're walking up to it, and the camera pans yeah. up it, even those give me a rush. I'm yeah. like, ooh. So once they started climbing it, I honestly, I had to turn my iPad on and just kind of glance up every <laughs> once in a while, because I couldn't even actually look at it. It was causing so much anxiety i had the same Brutal. feelings i have when i watch stupid cave fucking yeah like the descent yeah stuff cave like movies like oh brutal i can't Classical handle it movie. yeah i bet it's not considered horror on google i don't, I don't get that it's yeah it's because it's scary as there shit. isn't any like blood or kills or anything but yeah to me that one's specific a lot of people assume horror means gore or yeah. Yeah. scares or you know yeah yeah, but yeah. I was more scared watching that than any slasher lately or anything like that. That actually made me feel like it was a hard feelings one. I don't usually feel like when that. I ranked 2022. That movie was really difficult because that was, in my opinion, the scariest movie to come yeah. out in 2022. It was skipped, but that actually made the scariest because scary. most horror movies aren't even scary anymore, right? They're like once you're our age you've seen everything so yeah i mean it's since the last time a horror movie actually scared you yeah it takes a very special movie to scare me at this point yeah yeah so the, to me that was the actual scariest movie to come out maybe of the 2020 so far when it comes to actual it definitely scariness. gave me the most like anxiety yeah it's so i would shocked. argue yeah but it, yeah i was shocked that it wasn't considered a horror movie so same weird Oh, I guess that's I guess that's my go, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. I guess it's Sam's go. Um, now, I guess I'm gonna bring this up, but I've never seen this movie, so I can't really talk about it too much in detail. But it's the Forgotten. Oh, you the Forgotten. You just watched that kind just of watched recently. It. Yeah, a few months ago. Um, I think it's who's it? Julian Moore. Yeah, Julian. Julian Moore. I Is remember. It? Yeah. I, I remember the trailers for this movie, but I've never, ever, ever seen it. I saw it's... it years, years, years ago. Probably when it first came out. It's hard. This one's hard to be classified as that, too, but it is an alien. Alien, like, uh, almost a like play on Invasion of Body Snatchers, sort of, but not really. Nothing like Dark Skies? Uh no no okay I can't remember it that well uh it's hard that one's a tough one to rank or to classify to be honest yeah I've never seen it I I remember I can picture the poster in my head but that's about it I don't remember anything else about it yeah that's about yeah as as I got too yeah I, are I there any a trailer or nothing that aren't considered horror really well can you think of one off the top of your head this one is definitely one because it. It's like, it's hard for me to describe. It's like, it? yeah, it's like, like uh, she'd lost her memory and her family starts to disappear out of pictures and people are convincing her that she is just kind of crazy, crazy. but it's actually everybody in her life were like aliens oh. and they're, they okay. took her family and it's, it's something like that, but it's not. There's nothing scary in it. It's just it's got that mystery. same thing where it's yeah, it's like a mystery to me. Yeah, a mystery. It's labeled as a thriller sci-fi from Google, but yeah, I, the, I think I remember the twist. Um, the and I vaguely remember the trailer, but I we just never got around to watch. I never got around to watching it, so I can't unfortunately help defend or not defend Sam here. Yeah, yeah. Can't I can't either. either. Yeah. Well, I ranked it like I just did my horror ranking, and I put it on I there? ranked it as a horror. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I saw it on there because it is creepy. Like you have to give it a watch. Yeah, I'll line up on the side that Sam's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just cause. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we gotta stay on brand. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'll do up my last one, and I'm gonna say. 
Uh, upgrade. No oh, upgrade. I don't know. Upgrade Have I seen that? is. I haven't seen it. Darn. Um, I know what it is. Lee Wan so, directed it. Um, this is his first movie outside of like the Insidious franchise. It's a Blumhouse movie. It's basically about a man who gets uh, mugged and then uh, the muggers kill his wife and then he gets paralyzed from it and then they inject a... Uh... Later on, he gets like one of those microchips in his head. Yep. And it makes him be able to walk and it'll just like upload Kung Fu and do him a kind of like... Uh, okay, yeah, no, I'm picturing it. Um, this, this was released by Scream Factory. So like, Yes, it was. Um, that's why I'm like, okay, it's kind of labeled. It's got like the dark, almost horror esque cover to it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna go and say it's not a horror movie, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just like a brutally bloody action movie. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's like almost it's like a revenge tale for sure, but it just doesn't quite uh, lean into too much of the horror. I guess like it'd be more of like the horrors of what technology could potentially do to you or like for you, I guess after getting such an implant, because I'm not going to spoil the twist for anybody who hasn't seen it, but go ahead and watch it. It's actually a, it's a well-made movie and uh, Lee Wanell does a great job at it, but it's just doesn't, uh, it doesn't fly with me in the horror realm. Uh, yeah. Rob, have you seen it? I have not seen it. Um, I remember when it came out and I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, but I, I didn't see it. And from what I remember people saying about it and everything, it did seem more like an action revenge movie. Like, you know, I mean, John Wick is an action revenge movie. I wouldn't call those horror. They're amazing, but I still would call them horror. Yep. Um, yeah. And this kind of felt like roughly the same thing to me, just from the way people were talking about it. But I, I never watched it. Yeah, they just throw a lot of blood in. I've never seen it either, but I have. I remember seeing a trailer for it. And I remember him like punching a hole through someone's chest or something at one point. Yeah. So it is like brutal because like bloody as shit. This mm -hmm. probably fall in the same Silent category. Night too. Like, yeah, like Silent the, Night with more sci fi. Just really bloody. Revenge film. It's hard. Those ones are always hard. Every time I watch a really bloody like action horror. movie, it feels like, well, this could actually be a horror movie. Yeah. Like, it would be a horror movie to someone that's never seen that kind of violence before yeah that's true like if they watched it they'd be like ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's hard yeah. if you say it isn't then i'll agree with you because you've seen it well i'll let you borrow it and i'll trade you uh for spider-man i forgot to ask <laughs> you the last time i was over the beyond the spider-verse or whatever to borrow it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Do so on the shelf or let me somewhere here. <laughs> yeah, I think you have enough to blend out. Yeah, I think I have the 4K. I think it comes with the Blu-ray as well. So okay, I got you. You'll, you'll be able to see upgrade in all of its 4K glory. Yeah. Save me from spending that ridiculous price tag they have on it here in Canada. <laughs> yeah, it was a. It was a. Yeah, it was a. It it took a hard hit. <laughs> 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 um does anybody have any other movies that they would like to bring up like it's an honorable mention that are like you know have you have to talk about it that was gonna be shape of water for me just <laughs> so i could uh bring it up just because yeah just for fun. i think the only interactions me and rob have had so far have just been me shitting on his favorite movie of all time <laughs> <laughs> um i don't have any I only wrote down what I needed to. Do you have any? No. No, because I was going to do seven and he yep. and Rob did seven. So yep. we're covered there. Yeah. I mean, I, I had a, a massive list here, but none that I really needed to talk about. Um, you know, the one that the one that I always find interesting that gets embraced by the horror community is Ghostbusters. Yeah. you know because it's not a horror movie i mean it's it's a comedy and it's yeah. great and i love it and but it's funny to me like if you go to any horror con or anything anywhere there's ghostbusters merch and stuff all over the place 
No. Yeah. No. Yeah, my daughter's um, love Ghostbusters. It's highly praised as a horror movie, and uh, yeah, it's not a horror movie it's, to me. It's a horror movie. It's a for horror kids. movie for children. Yeah. I mean, I it's guess. Yeah. yeah. Five yeah. Years. But yeah, they're uh, fun, but... yeah, most of the other stuff I wrote down here is not really worth getting into. Have you ever heard the uh, the Jaws debate? Yeah, yeah, I had Jaws on my list. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering if anybody was going to touch base on that one or not. I well, don't. I don't. Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, like it's. <laughs> How is it not a horror movie? Um, Everyone's scared of sharks. Come on. The movie yeah. created a whole generation of people scared to go swimming yeah. in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That just like, just even debating it is just a debate in itself because why are you debating the fact that it's a horror movie or not? It's, <laughs> it's got the cold open. It's got the gore. It's every it's everything you want from a shark movie. But yeah. Okay. All I right. Think... Well, that, that was a lot of fun with the lists. Yeah. We could go on forever because I can think yeah. of dozens on oh, my yeah. head. <clears throat> yeah. I'm good though. There's I, lots that just like borderline, you know, they're sitting on the line. There, yeah. there really are. It's interesting, like what people, because it's, you know, everybody sort of has their own definition of what makes a horror movie, you know, and I couldn't define it for you. It's sort of that weird thing of like, I can watch a movie and go, oh, that's a horror movie. Um, but you know, I couldn't tell you what makes a movie a horror movie for me. I just, you know, yeah. I know it when I see it. Yeah, yeah. it is true because, like we were saying a couple minutes ago, about not actually being scared of movies anymore as you yeah. get older. Uh, like, if a movie doesn't scare you at all, you could technically call it not a horror movie to you, <laughs> yeah. right? Because yeah. if it has nothing that creeped you out at all, and you just sat there and you didn't really care just because it chops a bunch of people up doesn't i don't know it could, there's a good argument there that yeah what that, defines what defines it yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's an interesting <laughs> debate on there nice all right um well thank you guys for coming on and making the lists um do you guys want to plug your accounts again Bo and kill we'll start with you guys sure you want to do it this one no. <laughs> okay, it's, it's critic after that. You're used to it. On all the social medias, I haven't done anything on any of them yet, but I will. This is critic after dark on Instagram. That's it. <laughs> Rob, uh, I'm on Twitter at radio rob one two three. Check me out on Slasher Radio and the Nick F and Woo Cage Cast. Also, <laughs> I'll be checking that out too after this because. Uh, Brennan told me you're doing Nicolas Cage movie. Nicolas Cage is one of my favorite he actors. Loves of all time. Oh, he's amazing, yeah. And I have seen pretty much everything. I think there's a couple of his newer movies I've missed, but I've seen close to a hundred probably. Yeah. And so I'd like to see we go in and read all your uh, reviews on his movies to see what you think. <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. I mean, we we just decided to do every movie in chronological order. We're making our way through, you know early 2000s now so it's gonna be a while yeah you're hitting the spot where he just starts taking every role he can get yeah like the bruce willis thing <laughs> yes but better because bruce oh my willis's God. movies sucked <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right i'll plug our account um we are our life in horror and you can post on our instagram tiktok and x uh we have a patreon where we do um Patreon parties, bonus episodes, after hours, uh, polls. Um, we're also on YouTube now. We're we're doing we're posting videos. Uh, we're just trying to still figure that out. So bear with us. Um, and we have a, a email. Yeah, we have an email. It's our life and our at hotmail .com. I need to write something down for this. I've been, <laughs> that. I've been saying that for like the last four months, and I still haven't done it yet. And especially since we're constantly changing stuff, it's just even harder. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for coming on. This was a lot of fun. Um, love the debate. Yeah, it's always yes. fun. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks, <laughs> Um, And stay spooky.